When scientists zoomed into the vacuum, they discovered the emptiness of space is not empty. Quantum fields fill the universe. There is a field for electrons, a field for quarks, a field for photons, a Higgs field, a gravitational field. Space-time is not a blank stage, it is a vibrating ocean of energy. Wherever you are in the universe, even in perfect vacuum, even between galaxies, even in the silent dark, there are quantum fields dancing beneath existence. And particles, not little rocks, but ripples inside those fields. Electrons are tiny waves, photons are waves, everything is waves. So now the answer is different. Things aren't floating in space, they are excitations of the fields that make space. But this still leaves the ultimate question. What holds the fields? Zoom in far enough and we hit a limit. The Planck scale, 10 to the negative 35th meters. The smallest scale the laws of physics can currently describe. Below that, space itself may lose meaning. Not because there are smaller particles, but because there may be no space left to divide. Some theories propose quantum foam. Space is a bubbling ocean of fluctuations popping in and out of existence. Loop quantum gravity. Space-time is woven from discrete atoms of space. String theory. Everything is vibrations of tiny one-dimensional strings. Emergent space-time. Space is not fundamental at all. It emerges from information or entanglement like music emerges from vibration. In these models, there is no below. Existence is its own foundation. Just like a shadow doesn't need a surface beneath the surface. A simulation doesn't need a texture beneath the texture. Reality may not need a flaw. Cosmology now suggests something shocking. The universe does not expand into anything. Space itself stretches. There is no outside, no container, no background. Space doesn't float inside something bigger. Space is the thing. This breaks human intuition because we evolved on a world with floors, walls, ceilings, ground. And yet the universe might have none of these. If our universe floats on nothing, could it float inside something greater? Theories propose bubble universes. Our universe is one bubble in a cosmic foam of others. Brain cosmology. Our universe is a three-dimensional membrane floating in higher dimensional hyperspace. Simulation hypothesis. The universe floats on information running on a substrate we cannot perceive. Eternal inflation. Space itself is constantly spawning new universes, each with different physics. None of this is proven, but if one is true, then our universe might float after all. Not on elephants, not on turtles, but on higher dimensions. Data, quantum rules, cosmic evolution, or something even stranger. So what is the universe floating on? There are several answers, but the simple answer is nothing. The Einstein answer. The universe is floating on space-time curvature. The quantum answer. Everything floats on fields that fill all of reality. The foundational answer. 
space may not require a deeper layer. The metaphysical possibility. The universe could float inside something we cannot yet detect. Higher space. Deeper math. Cosmic information. The rules of existence itself. The most shocking truth may be, not everything needs a foundation. Reality is the foundation. For all our myths, equations and theories, one thing is certain. We exist in a universe that holds itself up. No supports, no pillars, no edge, no outside. Just pure existence, settled upon nothing, and yet capable of creating stars, galaxies, planets, oceans, life, consciousness, you. Humanity is a brief flicker of awareness, witnessing the greatest magic trick ever performed. A universe emerging from nothing, supported by nothing, and yet giving rise to everything.